Okay, this is Russ, and today I want to make some cores that look like this for some uh, stuff I want to make. Now, basically, you find these everywhere in the stores, but you cannot find these to purchase. I cannot find a good location to purchase these. If you do know them, please send me a message on YouTube uh, and let me know that I can get these cores somewhere. But, nonetheless, now I have the ability to make my own in whatever sizes that I want. So I'm going to be taking CDs, like this, pipe, like this, and steel bars, and I'm going to make my own cores. Now I can do uh, hollow core or not. Alright, let's get started. Hey, what's up? All right, so I'm making um, some cores for a project, and I do not have any um, cores to wrap my coils around. So what I got here is uh, a CD right here, okay. And what I'm going to do is I made this thing. I'll show you here. I made this thing. I machined this on the lathe, little parts. And it's a washer. And the CD fits right on top there. Okay. And then uh, this washer fits on top there, so everything's nice. And this one fits on there. See how that fits? And then uh, this gets threaded onto here. Hand tighten that. Okay, and then I got this stud, this rod end. What I'm going to do is stick this on the lathe. Okay. Like that. Put my safety glasses on. Then I made this really nice jig that holds a razor blade. Because you can't machine this plastic very well. So I've got this jig made up. Let's go ahead and get her spinning. Now I just run this razor blade right into this CD and cut it off. Like that. Okay. And what I got is a nice core for the edge of my... Pretty cool, huh? So then, set you back down. Alright, then once I get this cut out, like this, then I'll have to put this on the lathe and cut the inside out. I'll show you that. Then I've got this pipe, this half inch pipe. This is just a section. And then, obviously my CD, uh, the regular one, is bigger than the other one. So I had to cut the inside out and put uh, this on here so it fits. Okay, real nice. And then, I cut these cores, or this one anyway, this is a piece of steel that I machined to fit inside of this pipe, and then I'll have a core. I can also pack this pipe with magtite or something. But let's go ahead and set up and cut the inside of these CDs out. Alright, so I got my, uh, my bit set up here, and I've got my lathe in reverse. Let's crank it on. So I'm going to cut the inside out like this until I get, so I get it big enough to fit my pipe on there. Okay, so I'm just going to have to keep, I'm just going to have to keep checking it until it fits on my pipe. That's what I got this pipe here for, okay? So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that out. Alright, so I cut the inside of this out so this pipe fit on here. Fits pretty snug, just like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna get cutting some regular pieces of pipe, whatever length I want, and then I got some of this epoxy glue. Yeah, and I'm gonna epoxy these to this. 
So let's go ahead and cut some. Uh, I gotta cut the other side, and I'll cut the uh, pipe. Let's do that. All right. So I got both of these done, so they fit nicely on this pipe. See. All right. So let's cut some pipe. All right, guys. Got my pipe. What I'm gonna do is take my core, show my length, and I'm gonna make it a little long. So I'm gonna trim it down. So I'm just gonna mark it. I got a sawzall, but I'm just gonna take a hacksaw to it. So that won't take long. plastic. So there you go. Core a little bit longer. A little bit shorter I should say than my pipe. Alright. Alright, so now I'm gonna do just take this plastic, kind of trim the inside out with my knife. Just a little. Alright, so I get them shavings out of there. I'm not too worried about the outside because I'm going to cut it off. And then this core slides right inside like that. Now what I'm going to do is stick this whole thing and lay the machine this down until I get right against that core. Alright. Um, Got to switch my chucks around. Hold up. Alright guys, I got this bit in here. This should be good enough for this plastic. I just want to trim it off. So, here we go. I just trimmed that off flush. Looks like I could have left a little bit more material to uh, play with on my pipe. That's fine. Let's do the other side. Oh, it looks like I do got some. Let's go ahead and slide this over. Just a hair. We'll trim down this side and then we'll go back to the other side, okay? went ahead and finished this side clean as you can see here if it'll focus that side's clean I'll just hold it flush and we'll just trim this side off by the way I don't have to mess with it going back and forth not a very good shot can you see it let's move you over How's that? This isn't really the proper lathing bit for this operation. But I already got it set up. So there is one core. All right, it's nice and flush, both ends. And I take these CDs, take a little sandpaper, and hit the edge of that plastic, so I can slide my CDs on. I could have done that on the lathe, but no problem. All right, so I got my CDs here. Pop right on the ends. Just like that. And voila.
got my own cores. Uh-oh. Fell off. There you go. Got my own cores. For what I want. And again, I will be epoxying the plastic to plastic. I could probably even get some uh, standard glue to hold that in there, but it's alright. So that's what I got. Um, so that's how you can make these cores for yourself. And I can make these any dimensions that I'd like. This one's a bit bigger than this core. And uh, what I can also do, if I take this core out of here, Okay, so now it's a hollow, no core. What I was going to do is take some uh, powder, iron iron uh, shavings, and uh, magtite, and pack it down in here as another core, so it's actually a different type of core. But for this particular operations, I'm going to put that steel in there. I'm not going to wrap my wire around it. Voila, I own core. So there you go. That's my use of uh, materials laying around the house. CDs, pipe, a little iron. I know most of you don't have a lathe, but I got a mini one. I guess I'm lucky. Bought that a while back for a project. I should say for many projects. It was actually for a small business I tried starting up. It's going okay. Alright, I'm out. This is Russ. Happy day, I guess. Whatever.